and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. This is episode 26. Last time we went to the Exalted Plains and we helped Solus out with a friend in need. And it was very, very interesting seeing a spirit that had been summoned and transformed into a demon for a purpose to kill and protect the, the mages that were just absolutely clueless. And going through that and being able to actually disrupt the ritual to revert a transformed demon back into a spirit form. That was a very cool thing to see and that we can actually, you know, see is actually is possible to do, which is pretty, pretty wild. So spirits that become demons can be transformed back into, uh, into spirits, which is a uh, quite uh, bizarre encounter. Um, I can plant seeds from all the way back here, apparently. Uh, and you may have noticed we are back to every second day for Dragon Age Inquisition now. We've, uh, we, did it, we had a pretty good run of posting Dragon Age Inquisition every single day because we were just cruising through some great stuff. And I'm still enjoying it, obviously. It's just that I got to slow down a little bit. We just want to avoid some burnout. Maybe not like go too fast and do too much because otherwise I would just be like, oh, I can't do this anymore. Uh, but I'm obviously still having a great time. But I just thought I would see how long we could maybe just post every day for a little while. Just cruising through Inquisition. And we're having a great time. We're going to continue having a great time. It's the beginning of the episode, so let's summon our War Council. And we'll get them to report on the missions we sent them off at the end of last episode. And we'll get some, we'll get some updates. So we've got the Arcanist and the Fade. Arcanus Dagna was supplied with remnants of exposures to the Rift and the Fade, and she has done something. It is perhaps best to contain her efforts to the Undercroft from now on. Bianca's aiming two in hearts. Nice. We've got an upgrade for Varix Crossbow. Restore order in Wycombe. Nightingale. The city is safe, at least for the time being. Keeper Istimareth. Is Istimathorial. Istimathorial. Entered the city with a contingent of Dalish elves and used magic to alleviate the effects of Lyrian withdrawal for many of the city's victims. Unfortunately, her actions... Oh no. Unfortunately, her actions caused some of the more mad and nobles to attack. Duke Antoine gave his life... Wow. Gave his life protecting Istamathoriel from his own nobles, and most of the remaining nobles of Wycombe are either dead or have fled the city. For what it is worth, almost all merchants and laborers in the city saw that Dalish were attempting to help and banded with them to fight against the madness that had taken their nobility. I have heard that some remaining nobles are spreading lies in other marcher cities, claiming that the Dalish attacked and poisoned the rulers. For now, however, the Dalish are seen as heroes in Wycombe. They remain in the city, uncertain of what to do next. Wow. So the nobles all just went crazy. The Duke gave his life. That's very honorable. God, I thought it was just about to say, unfortunately, her actions caused them all to perish. Like, caused some of the more mad and nobles to attack and they're dead. God damn. I wish that we could actually see our clan, you know? I wish that we could see our clan, but we're just reading about them for now. But it seems they are seen as heroes. But rumors are spreading that they poisoned the city. Protect Valgamord from Darkspawn. The Grey Wardens fought bravely and with great skill. The town of Valgamord was saved and the Wardens themselves took few casualties. They await further commands. Nice. And we can find the source of Darkspawn attacks now. May as well just continue this. Inquisitor, the Darkspawn at Valgamord have been slain, but it remains unclear what brought these creatures to the surface. There is no obvious sign, and I am concerned that they might still pose a danger. Marquise Buffon has made clear her wishes that we now depart, which leaves me even more suspicious, as most would welcome further help in these dangerous times. The Grey Wardens have volunteered to assist with the investigation of this mystery in whatever capacity the Inquisition deems most fitting. We await your orders. The blight is many things, but it is not subtle. My scouts can easily track the corruption to its source. Someone may have been mining the area and freed the darkspawn that way. Examine the finances of nobles nearby. Let the wardens spread out to scour the area. They'll find out where those darkspawn are coming from soon enough. And we can use their darkspawn sensors. Um... Hmm. 
Made clear her wishes that we now depart leaves me even more suspicious. Moose would welcome further help. That is kind of interesting. Uh, we'll have Cullen say let the wardens spread out to scour the area so they'll find where the dark spawn are coming from soon enough. Um, now, what else have we got? We got to stop a war between Navara and Tevinta. An offer of help on their terms. Claim a Grey Warden cache. Investigate an ancient laboratory. Let's check this one out. Nightingale. The last Venatori have left the ancient laboratory in the wake of the Inquisitor's attack. We can be sure that secrets have been left behind. Those of the Venatori, the ancient Tevinters, or both. We should not allow the desert to bury them. We have agents capable of disarming whatever traps and tricks remain. And there are Chantry scholars eager to see these ruins. We could salvage artifacts and earn their gratitude all at once. Mm. Let's take. Let's have Josephine salvage artifacts and earn their gratitude at once. Let us begin. Yeah, we'll have Josephine do that. I don't know why. Um. Okay, Josephine's needed for that one. What do we got? Liliana? Uh, let's see. Deploy Reese and uh, Evangeline. Investigate Lord Enzo of Antiva. This might be good for Liliana, actually. A report from Antiva delivered to Liliana. The Venatoria are smuggling red lyrium into Antiva, but thus far have evaded our grasp. We believe Lord Enzo of Rialto is assisting them. Enzo is clever, well-liked, and has relations among Antivan royalty. If we approach him without proof, he will bury his tricks, he will bury his tracks, and turn his allies against us. We must handle this carefully. Okay. Inquisitor. We'll send Liliana to do that. There we go. They're out, on missions, and we can move on with our day. Now, we'll have a look at where we need to go. Because there is a lot for us to get to. Um, now, we went to the Exalted Plains and we're kind of cruising around there for a while. Um, so I might continue to do so. Um, there are glyphs to continue to find. Uh, we have up this way Dorian and Cassandra's little quests. So I guess I'm going to just plop myself down to the Dalish camp again, and I'm going to continue exploring the Exalted Plains. I really like the Exalted Plains because elves. Um, I wonder how Sarah would react to being taken to the Dalish encampment. Probably negatively, <laughs> I would assume. Um, Solus has had decent time out there now and we did his quest so we're gonna leave him behind um i think we're gonna bring dorian um cassandra and cole as my team and we'll head out with those and we'll see if there's anything that we can gleam from the exalted plains today so i've kind of managed to avoid I guess a sense of fatigue with this game because it is so large and overwhelming and you can tell that there is kind of um, a big sense of a to-do list you know in terms of all of the different areas and all of the different quests and I like to think that we've kind of juggled things quite nicely um, between companion interactions and dialogue and lore reading um, as well as like running out in the open world and doing quests and obviously doing our main quests as well. I think we've been doing it quite a, like quite all right. Instead of us just, you know, focusing super hard on cleansing one area at a time um, at, before moving on to the next one, because that doesn't feel like super natural, I suppose. It kind of feels like it makes sense for us to travel out to regions multiple times, like revisit, do some things, go somewhere else, do some things, do some main quests, you know, trying my best to balance it for a let's play as well. I think if it was like, if I was playing it on my own time, I might do it a little bit differently where I would just sequentially maybe go through it. Um, or maybe not. I don't really know, but I like the way that we're, I like the way that we're doing it. 
Um, what's really interesting as well is it says like, again, scattered glyphs, glyphs found. We've found two out of four, but there's three on the map at the moment. So there's a, a special, uh, a special fifth glyph, fifth glyph, maybe. Hello? Okay. Well, we got the veil fire. I don't have to cat. I don't have to carry the torch everywhere which is uh which is nice i can just pick it up in the location we're in the elven glyphs duheim we're searching the ruins we heard august boys are digging in the stones at harlan something i hate these elf elf names pascal terrible ah i have a warrior with me aya I love that, as if it's like opened up a new area, like, and it wasn't just, oh, it has, hang on, oh, it has opened up, I can just jump off that thing though, couldn't I? Can I just jump off this balcony? It's funny when some of them feel like a little bit, like, pointless. Masterwork dagger grip and reinforced defender armor. Yeah, you can just jump over, that's funny. So far, I think most of the, the warrior walls to bash in that we find can just be circumvented pretty easily. It's the roguish doors that are locked to the trouble. Uh, where does, where does Glyph? Glyph. Is it by the rift? Maybe by the rift. The good thing is, is that you can still see the um, the glyphs without having the torch. It's just that you need the torch to like activate it, I guess. Dude, my, my burning alive screams are so horrifying to like listen to. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Please. We get it, girl. You're burning alive, okay? Alright. I have now exited the region where this glyph is. Can't be that big. I thought it was going to be on that thing, but it didn't look like it was there. Maybe I missed it. Oh, hang on. Is it on this? Hmm. Maybe it's just back this way in general. It might be here, actually. Hold on. Let's take a look. Where's this glyph? I've clearly, um, maybe I can't see it because it's so bright. Usually I'm used to seeing it appear in like, um, darkness. Ah, oh, there it is. The revealed symbol depicts a pair of hands cupped around the moon. Again, three out of four has been found, so I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I guess these are actually really close together, so maybe one's a glyph and then something else will happen. Um, can we go through here? 
Uh, we can, but not really. I wish this game could allow me to swim. We got a mosaic piece. Do you know would be nice if I could do this? Instead I drown. Let me let me go around there. <laughs> let me just take this boat out, you know. Video games that don't let you swim. Alright, we'll go the long way around. Oh, there we go. I found the rune. That's nice. Now we just need to find the veil fire. A letter. My sweet Dorabelle, things have gotten worse since last I wrote. There is no end to the madness. Strange lights on the plains. Soldiers torn limb from limb. Some of the men think there is an elven curse on the land. But I am gone, and will put all this from my mind. If Selene wants to keep her throne, she can take up arms against her cousin, the demons, and whatever else. I would like to return home, darling, but I must disappoint you. I may no longer fight for the Empress, but I still fight for Orle. There is a rebel group gathering in the Emerald Graves Forest. People like me, tired, wanting a change. I met some of them. It feels right. There is something big planned to take the Dales to wipe out the old politics. I'm hopeful. I know you would be too. Wait for me, Benji. Something big's brewing. Is our Veil Fire place? Uh, yeah, this will be our last rune or glyph, sorry. Symbol. The elven glyph, scale. I have perused the library in Villa Morial. There are tales of a hidden elven power in the Dales. I entrust you with the task of unearthing this power. It could be a weapon in our fight for freedom. They say the king, the key, is in Dirth Haverin. Dirth Haverin. In the writing on the stones, as I understand it, that is the elven name for the Exalted Plains. It is full of ruins. I know of one by the river, west of where the armies are camped. A shrine to Silas. Start there. Hiya. It's telling how quickly even the most peaceful area can descend into chaos. Yes. The revealed symbols show two ravens. One grips a heart in its talons, the other a mirror. Go to the war table to investigate the glyphs. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we're now going to go to the war table to uh, to continue. Got ya. It's fine. Um, in that case, we'll now go a Dalish teenager named Valoran ran off after being passed over for the Keeper's apprenticeship. He is yet to return, and his sister Emelian fears the worst. Let's go and find you, then we'll go and get that golden Halla soon as well. What am I burning? There are so many. This was intentional. There may be more of these pets. We'll have to find them. I'm burning pits of pits of dead. Okay. Look at this thing. Holy shit. That is an impressive weapon. So fancy looking too. Um the exclamation mark is here, but it's not going away. I would have thought like a little quest marker would have popped up on the side of my screen after me interacting with this, but nothing happened. I'm not sure. Maybe the exclamation mark will go away. Uh, maybe it won't. Who knows? Um, maybe it glitched. <laughs> maybe there's more pits around this specific location, and that's why the game is not giving it to me as a quest. I would have thought it would be like, go and visit locations and burn body pits or something, you know?
This is different to burning a pit. This is something else. Map of Enovirus. There's a missing thing there. Okay. Find the spot marked on the map. So that'll be somewhere for us to find. Legend of the Three Sisters, Book One. The legend of the Le Trois Sios is often repeated in Orlais and has an incredible number of variations. In some, the sisters are depicted as innocent on the surface, but eagerly engaging in baldy exploits the moment they escape from their chaperone. In others, the sisters are heroic, valiantly solving any number of problems, sometimes unintentionally, before returning home. In still others, the sisters are clueless, bumbling from one adventure to the next, unwittingly leaving riots and chaos in their wake. The nature depends on who is telling the story or where they heard it last. Sometimes it's a raunchy tale for tavern drunks. Other times it's a scandalous tale told to criticize either the Empress or the Chantry. There are some elements in common between all these stories, however. They always re revolve around the adventures of three sisters of the Montbelliard clan. Riel, Marie, and Charisse. They are depicted as young women typical of Orlesian nobility, versed in social graces, uh, graces but innocent of the world outside of their sheltered existence. One day, while traveling uh, with their chaperone, always referred to as La Bette, and usually depicted as a large and vindictive woman, they become separated and lost on the streets of Aureo. Bewildered at finding themselves alone, the three sisters panic and end up in the infamous Belle March, an area of capital renowned for its garish and celebratory seediness. In all versions of the legend, this is where the sisters' adventures truly begin. The origin story of the Sisters Three. Okay. And we've got a book of here. The Soul Canto. A traveler asked the Ashkari, what is your vision of our purpose? The great Ashkari replied, I'll tell you a story. A vast granite statue stands on an island holding back the sea. The heavens crown its brow, it seas to the edge of the world. The sea drowns its feet with every tide. The heavens turn overhead, light and dark. The tide rises to devour the earth and falls back. The sun and the stars fall to the sea one by one in their turn, only to rise again. The tide rises, the tide falls, but the sea is changeless. Struggle is an illusion, there is nothing to struggle against. The deception flows deeper. The statue resists the ebb and flow of the sea, and is whittled away by each wave. It protests the setting sun, and its face is burned looking upon it. It does not know itself. Stubbornly, it resists wisdom, and is transformed. If you love purpose, fall into the tide. Let it carry you. Do not fear the dark. The sun and the stars will return to guide you. You have seen the greatest kings build monuments to their glory, only to have them crumble and fade. How much greater is the world than their glory? The purpose of the world renews itself with each season. Each change only marks a part of the greater whole. The sea and the sky themselves. Nothing special, only pieces. From the Tome of Kozlin. Have you been, uh, have you been brainwashed by the Kuhn yet by reading that? Hup. Fall into the ocean, bro. It's hopeless. That little trick, Cole. When you dip into someone's mind and take a drink. Do you choose what you're looking for, or is it random? It has to be hurt, or a way to help the hurt. That's what calls me. Relinus. Skin tan like fine whiskey, cheekbones shaded, lips curl when he smiles. He would have said yes. I'll thank you not to do that again, please. <laughs> Cole was like, <clears throat> my gaydar is pointing directly at you, Cole, uh, Dorian. Yes, don't do that again, please, Cole. Do not speak my thoughts out loud. They are for me and me alone. <laughs> Eloquently put, sire. A challenge. Hey, Dom. I know it's you poking in my stuff. I saw you following me to my stash. I can smell you from a hundred yards. Don't think you'll be getting what you lost at Wicked Grace. It's not going to happen. Let's be serious. You can try to get to it, but we... Both? No, you won't, lot ass. Okay. Um, cool. You ever just go searching and then just get called a lot ass in Dragon Age? Okay. They have, I guess they have lard in Dragon Age. 
all the harlers are gathering on the on the coastline here. Oh my God, what is that? Look at this thingy. A snooflewer? What is that? I have to kill you for the codex entry. I formally apologize. What is this thing? Look at it. Die! Oh my god. Die! Snoofler skin. No, not the holler as well. Okay. Jesus. Come on, guys. Alright. Codex entry. Remember that it's for the Codex entry. A snoofler picked up someone new, called himself Marchand, and offered three Orle royals to travel alongside to Celestine. Betting both knees, he saw the bows and thought we'd be protection. Didn't think we might turn the weapons on him ourselves. Take his grapes by the time we hit lives I wanted to. Little shit couldn't stop bragging about he was going to be a tutor for some High Lord's son. Everything out of his mouth was Milord Silk Knickers this and Milord Silk Knickers that. Showed us a little painting of Milord Silk Knickers and his lady. Milord I wanted to punch, but the rump on Milady, I'd like to chew to that. <laughs> and then going through the dales, we see one of those long-nosed pigs with the stump legs. It's just crossing the highway, dragging its stupid belly along the ground as they do. Bless the maker and all, but he was deep in his holy golden cups the day he made that thing. <laughs> anyway, I turn to Lockie and I say, hey, it's one of them snufflers. Marshan starts in with his giggle. Lockie and me, we look at him. Snuffler, he says, like he just caught me naked with his lady mother. Non, the dwarf's dire snuffler, because snuffler just isn't fancy enough for Ali. Just I, so I say it like he does. Snuffler, can't keep a straight face. Marshan goes red like a virgin with skirts blown up, and good old Lockie just shoots the thing with an arrow while it's snuffling its way across the road. Now it's dead, and we call it dead, he says. That was that. From the hunting log of Kerr of West Hill, dated 17 Saurus. Wonderful. Uh, well, apparently there's a stash, and uh, I guess there's a clue is that um, it's somewhere potentially quite out of reach. Soggy Journal. The book is wa the book is waterlogged. Most of the ink has faded. I've heard about some of the soldiers joining a new organization. Rebels fighting for freedom. There's always a cause, isn't there? I'm tired of causes. I'm going to live by myself and for myself from now on. The world can go screw itself. I'm done with all of it. Okay. And then, um, I guess we will never know how far that person got because they also decided to potentially ditch their journal here or they just arrived on shore and were... Uh, were slain because they're hanging out near uh, a goddamn battlefield. It's pretty crazy um, just how uh, just how huge these maps can be, I guess, when there's like just a lot of codex entries and things to read that you can very much easily miss. There's a lot just laid out in the world that isn't very obviously uh, placed, so you can you can miss like your million million letters and books and clues and and all sorts. And we're probably going to continue to miss um, a lot of it. We will probably miss a lot of it. As as much as we can try and go, oh look, here's a building, and we'll go in there and have a look. Uh, there's still going to be. Should we look around? Probably a bunch of things that we can't. At the very least, there are there are things like this where you're allowed to actually investigate, so that's nice. But then there's a lot that's like bonus. Look at all these tomatoes! Freeman messages, I want you and your men to collect the dead and bring them to the ramparts. We have to burn them, gather them together, then leave. I'll deal with it from there. Yep. Look, what are we picking up? More ale. Grey whiskey. Warden Tontiv. Home. 12 out of 29. 
The game really wants you to make sure that you get your Grey Warden nails. <laughs> Crumpled missive. Did you hear? One of the crews from Val Royale said they saw the famous Tom Rainier drinking at the Halberd, east of Val Royale. I thought you'd be interested, given your history. Although the lads probably only see him in sketches. Somehow I doubt the old captain's foolish enough to come within a hundred miles of the capital. I'll let you decide whether you believe it. Anyway, heard you might be relieved in a week or two. You could talk to, to Prowl? Pro? Prowl? See if he'll let you take leave to follow the lead. He'll understand. He did allow you to enlist for our side, even after what happened with Kalia. Pros Let's take all these tomatoes with us. The game does tend to kind of draw your interest, I suppose, as well. For some locations, like you go, let's go and look at this burning building. And you can see that you can actually climb it, light yourself on fire, and get to this uh, chest here. <laughs> for just a belt of magic defense. Absolutely dog shit. But the game will allow you to do it. I've never been swimming. We could push you in and see how you like see how you go. <laughs> Damp note. Nolan. I've hidden the boat under Ferb's old fishing pier. Should have everything you need. Meet me down the river, but watch out for the currents. I'll wait for you. Love D. Well, uh back full of arrows, so that went well. A lot of just sad stories out in the wilds. You just see a lot of dead people. And a lot of notes of, hey, I'm going to meet you here. I'm dead. We're going to set up camp now if these wolves will leave us alone. Are they going to leave us alone? They're really not going to leave us alone, are they? No. They, ha they could have left us alone. time. Yeah, that exclamation mark about the fire pit isn't going away. So I don't know what the what the deal is there. If the archdemon survived a fall into the abyssal rift, I wonder if it can be slain. Proof it isn't an archdemon at all, I'd say. What do you mean? If Grey Wardens are good for anything, it's killing an archdemon. This one rose again. I'd say Corypheus created it. A tribute to his old gods, or an emulation of them. Meaning what? It cannot be slain unless he is? That? Or we need a much deeper chasm. Hmm. Okay. That's a that's a good theory. Do we have to we can't kill the uh the archdemon ish thing <laughs> without killing Corypheus first, mayhap. Okay. Memorials of the Second Exalted March, Demetrius's end. Remember Lord Demetrius Aaron. The only one of Andraste's champions to fall. The forces of the Exalted March met the elves upon the field. Our numbers far exceeded theirs. The champions, kind and fair, gave the elves a chance for peace. But the elves would not lay down their arms. They slew Dor Demetrius in their charge. Make her take him to his side. Okay, so let's look for Valoran around here somewhere. An exclamation mark here. <laughs> oh, the idea of opening a door to a house in ruins. Father's guidance. Rygard. I'll be gone by the time you get back, heading to Lyards. Join me as soon as you can. I've left some supplies in the hollow of the old tree, the one near the ruin. Should be enough to pay someone to take you to the city. Be safe. Father. Father! Alright, we can get some supplies. I see a body. 
Valoran's journal is stained with blood. Only a few entries can be made out. And Emmeline keeps telling me I have to be patient. Venedis, I'm almost 17. I have my Velaslin. I'm ready to learn more than simple spells. Keeper Harwin will be sorry he ever doubted me. Stories say the ruin's not far from where we're camped. I don't care what Taniel says. Getting Lindirane's talisman will prove to the Keeper that I'm ready to be first. If it's really as protected as Taniel believes, I'll just have to break through the wards, even if I can't do it myself. I know what. Bale's thin here. None of the other hunters were brave enough to go into the Shem war zone, but here I am. It has to work here. I know it will. Looks like Minrathus after Saturnalia. Just so you know, blood magic and brandy is a devastating mix. Okay. Return Valoran's effects to Ameline. That did not go down well. Um, Father's Guidance is down this way, so I guess we may as well go and check this out. I'll pick up some supplies. Oh, this was the map. What? I got a cleave. Um, this was the map. Oh, that's the thing. I see the archway that's broken and the circle. If you look through it, I guess it would point to this. That's kind of funny. Well, we found it um, indirectly. There's the map. <laughs> cleave. We got a unique axe. This axe accompanied Loris, dwarven grey warden hero of the third blight, into the deep roads for his calling. Some say that he instead gave it to his nephew, hoping it would inspire him to great deeds. If so, it was lost when Orzammar's king imprisoned the boy for gambling. There you go. Um, we have an axe. Um... Oh, I forgot to give... Cassandra, this is funny. I crafted this <laughs> and forgot to equip it to Cass. So we've been doing much less damage. I was almost about to give her the cleave, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure I crafted something for Cassandra. There you go. I forgot to swap that bad boy over. I see a box. Enhanced amulet of accord. We're going to go back to the Dalish camp so we can deliver the effects. Things to return. Oh, at this rate, we'll never be on our way. Please, if you see my brother out there, tell him to return to camp. I'm sorry, but I found your brother. What? What do you mean, sorry? Where is he? No, he's not. I have his belongings. Is this, is this all that's left? Did you learn nothing else? He was brave, trying to reclaim a relic of the Dalish. I know. I always knew he was brave and clever. Didn't have to prove himself. The clan loves him. Howen loves him. I wish he'd understood that. Thank you for bringing me the news. It's better than not knowing. Okay. I found this talisman. I think your brother was looking for it. You should have it. Linda Rani's talisman? It... it exists? Her sword, Eva Nura was taken by Shems. But in the story, her talisman was saved and hidden. This'll mean so much to our people. Thank you. I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we did that. There's some Dalish favor. Nice. We're like halfway on the Dalish favor. Maybe while I'm here, I'll actually go in the direction of the Golden Halla as well. So we'll go out and search. This rate will never be on our way. Oh, hello. Heard the holla to the Dalish. Oh god, how... Oh no. Like, actually heard it? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, so... We had the one where it had to follow us. You know, in the Hinterlands we had to make that creature follow us all the way back. But this one I have to actually herd it back to the Dalish. Man. Okay. Sounds fun. Va Bellinaris, our eternity, where hundreds of our ancestors are buried, where those of us who can still lay our kin to rest. Although this land now belongs to Olay, the Shemlin have never reclaimed it. 
Perhaps their guilty conscience stops them, or perhaps those uncomplimentary tales of elven curses and vengeful spirits have some use after all. Keep a Gesharl of the Ralatharan clan. Wow. There you go. I like getting all of the different um, names for the clans. Some familiar, sometimes. Okay. Do I have a destination? Okay, I guess. Okay. I'm glad it's not too far, but it's also fast. Can you just go back home, please? This is... I don't know why they thought that this would be a good idea for a quest. Sprint and chase it back to the camp. All right, it looks to be on a pretty straight... No, as soon as I go to say, it looks to be on a pretty straight path. Better go right home. Okay, it's there. Return to Ethereum. You don't... Don't you run away now. Aren't you supposed to be here? Where are you? Alright, where's... Oh, there you are. Look, already she makes herself known to the others. She knows she's meant to be here. Thank you, Lethalan. I will never be able to express my gratitude. You just did. Alright, nice. Cole Galloway. Lovely, that's that done. Dalish favor, we're getting up there. An old Dalish burial site in the plains known as Var Belenara. Spells protecting the dead there have been broken, attracting demons. Cleansing the grounds of the demons would gain favor from the Dalish. Alright. Considering we're nearby and we just discovered it, I will dip my head in there and we'll take a look. Alright, let's go fight some demons. Var Belenaris. Reminds me of Nevara. We should not disturb the dead. Who knows what could happen? Becomes a necromancer and just raises the dead right in front of him. Mm. Fighting demons, I think we're fine. Uh -oh. Well, that was easy. Apparently we're already done. Oh god, there's a lot. Oh, hang on. Speak with the keeper, but hang on. Hey -ya! Oh yes. <laughs> there's still demons. Tomb key pieces. Okay. We should not disturb the dead. Instantly goes and starts destroying tombs. We have an excuse though. They're demonically possessed. Okay. Oh, I just got I just got lucky with like two in a row having the key handle, I suppose. Sometimes they don't even have demons, so we're just grave robbing now. There's a bunch of them. Okay, so we just need three keys. And we're gambling. Yeah, use the key to open the tomb door. Okay, that demon was sleepy. It was not even... Um, I guess we can get more stuff, right? We can get more gold. Half memorial. Here, the ashes of little Galen. Your laughter lingers in our hearts. Why would you... Why would you make me read the memorial of a dead child? Oh my god. That's just misery. Almost every Orlesian noble keeps a winter home in the Dales. 
It's a mark of status. Okay. Cast with the fun facts. Okay, another one over here. So go and open this tomb. See what's lying there for us. Surely nothing bad. The spoils of desecration. very peaceful in here. So we're going up here. Some light in here, good name. Merkel's first, okay. A mosaic piece, okay. Vision. Oh, 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 God, okay. Cassandra, we disturbed the dead. Oh my god. To be fair, it's an arcane horror. Someone help! So I don't think it has a description. Yeah, it doesn't have a description. Merkel's first. It does not have a description. Well, let's head back to the camp. Um, can I can't fast travel? Oh, hang on, there it is. I'm like, where did it go? It disappeared. Greetings to you. Leave. Why talk to me when I can't talk to you? Harold, you're at home. I do. That man wishes to join us. I've destroyed the demons on your sacred ground. Yes, but our hunters watched you from afar, and they know you defiled our graves, and that you stole a relic, and with it broke open the vault at Unadin from one of the people. I'm disappointed. The demons are gone, and we should be thankful. A small token of our gratitude, then. I really should have, like... I, I, I really should have expected something like that. I really appreciate the game for pulling me up on my grave, Robin, but... Oh, my God. The fact that you actually lose Dalish favor as well. you got to appreciate a game that, like, slaps you on the wrist like that. That it's like, stop looting everything you know the rewards weren't even worth it you know but like the game has shiny things and you go ooh, shiny things and you pursue it and i'm like to be fair there were demons in the graves but maybe there were only demons in the graves because they were disturbed <laughs> oops one of your clan wishes to join the inquisition 
on us. Did he say that? Masaranus. But I cannot allow it. You may be Dalish, but your Inquisition is human. I will not let Lorena leave with you. Not when I'm uncertain of your intentions. Okay. Darith Shirau, Dalen. That's because I have to gain more favor. And <laughs> unfortunately, when you go and start uh, poking around in uh, crypts, you're going to lose favor. Um, how else can we gain favor? I don't have any other quests that we can do. Um, it's almost full. Is defiling defiling the crypts doesn't absolutely Pretty. ruin our chances, does it? Oh, at this rate, we'll never be on our way. It is always a pleasure to greet one of our own. Do you have anything to trade? Take a look if you like. Okay, so I've gained enough favor to trade now. I haven't really spent money on much. Ooh, robes of the High Keeper. I can't, I can't even preview what it looks like, even though I am able to wear it. It's just not my level. I want to know what it looks like, at least. I guess it just looks like the Keeper robes. Decent armor rating, but... Also very expensive. It's like everything that you own... Everything that you have. Oh, we can buy rune stones actually. I'll buy a few rune stones. I'll make some runes. Buy some of those too. Because why not? Huge greatsword grip. There's actually a lot. Oh, I actually don't have any. Um, I don't have any helmet uh, schematics, so I'm going to get these, because I don't have those. Warden warrior armor, warden battle mage armor. We can craft it. Yes. Get that tier 2 gear. actually a decent amount of stuff here I think I'm I'm sure that this is probably available at multiple merchants but we'll do it while we're here won't we yeah. lovely thank you buying and selling doesn't allow Dalish favor I hope he passes peacefully into the beyond um, maybe there'll be some more things. Oh, actually, I've got to deliver the items, don't I? i got to great, get those uh, great bear pelts. That will allow me to gain favor. I need those big old bears to do so, though. All right, let's investigate the western ramparts. And then we can do Vivian's thing. And then out here, we can do Dorian's thing and Cassandra's thing. Someone engaged in combat here at the start. Hello. Corporal Rosslyn. Hey. How can anyone stop these things? Are you Imperial Army? Yes, Your Worship. I fight on the side of Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, rightful Emperor of Olay. Ah. We're getting a lot of references to the, um... Because Josephine mentioned stuff like the tensions between the Empress and the Duke. The peace talks in Halam Shirao mean an end to hostilities, don't they? We're no longer fighting each other, but the demons, the dead. It was easier when we fought just men. You can win against men. What's happened here? We were trying to retake the ramparts from the dead. They rise here, somewhere within these trenches. It started when those free men showed up. Strange lights, like blue fire. It must be magic. But the free men are just deserters from the armies. How could they have managed this? And why? I should be going. 
I should be going. Lay rest the western ramparts. Lay rest the western ramparts. Okay. Uh, pits are piled with bodies, attracting spirits and causing undead to rise. Oh, okay. We already did that one. And I guess now, because we did it out of order, like we weirdly went like all the way around here and did that fire pit. And now we have to check these out and then that might actually allow us to, yeah, finish the, the quest properly. Because this area is actually quite large. The ramparts are much bigger than, um, thought. Shield catches the blow, blade comes down, shiver through the hilt as it cuts, another bandit falls. A good strike, Lucius would have been proud. The bandit's eyes meet mine as he falls, so afraid, such a waste. Please leave my mind, Cole. You don't need to feel bad. I do not feel bad. The bandits needed to die. No, not that. You feel bad for being proud of it. You couldn't help the bandits. Some people have to die. Being happy for your skill doesn't make you cruel. Thank you. I suppose. Cole just really publicly airing out all of uh, everybody's like sort of uh, traumas and, and sad thoughts. They're like, what's weighing on my mind? Cole's like, what if we just air it out for everyone? Group therapy time. The Lord Seeker would be proud, huh? Make it Sandra has broken again. It's always my favorite. So I'm just going to take a breather and stand still for a little second here. Do you mind? Yeah. Uh, so we burn these pits out of order. So this is still has an exclamation mark. Um, it's kind of silly. But I expect it'll go away once we set fire to the south pit. Hup. Last words to my loved ones. If this letter reaches you, know that I died and died well in service of the noble Grand Duke. I did not run like the others did when the battle grew too much. I did not lose faith in the Maker. I was courageous till the end. He was always Julian. God damn it. Arcane horrors. help that I've just got a full team of people with like corrupting runes that does more damage to the living. <laughs> Pretty sure corrupting is more damage to the living, isn't it? Damage versus the living. 
So yeah, extra damage versus the living. Blow the signaling horn. Okay. Here you go. The horn of Gondor. I even target this dude. He's just he's just here. He's just vibing. New companion, guys. Companion, undead soldier. <laughs> oh, now there's a bunch of fighting taking place. There's a bunch of people here just now. Establishing our presence. Oh, because I've signaled that it's all clear now. That's cool. I always forget that whenever the, the game goes to load on a black screen, my webcam is just like, let's just make him glitch like a goddamn robot. Guys, there's so much space. What is it with peop these people training so close to each other? Causing trouble for everyone. Spread out, team. You're gonna cut someone's head off accidentally. Maybe. Under protection of the Inquisition. Nice. Okay, let's speak to Corporal Roslin. It's a shame that that undead soldier didn't remain. Did you see? I wonder how different this land looked back when the elves had it. Demons. Very much so. All's well, it seems. Or legions, accents everywhere. Dead things don't come back. They did it. I can't believe they retook the ramparts. Maybe if we got word to the marshal. But Fort Reverson surrounded by undead and locked down. What's happened here? It started when those free men showed up. Strangely, it must be magic. But the free men are just desert. I should be going. Enter Fort Reverson. Was that? All the way over that way. Okay. That goddamn exclamation mark's still there. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Oh, that's gonna bug me big time. The exclamation mark is right on that fire pit that we've already dealt with. I guess that's my fault for doing that fire pit before we went through the ramparts correctly, maybe? I don't know. Um, regardless, maybe if I leave the area and come back, it might, like, update or something. Who knows? Really? Who knows? That's grim. There's so many things out in the wild that you're just like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> There's a constant just background uh, noise that I thought was normal, but it's at to the point where I think it's no longer normal. Just a, a constant like uh, noise in in the background. It's like playing in place of like music. So I might I might have to restart as usual. At least that doesn't stop dialogue from happening. It's just like a weird. Constant noise in the back. Look at this chair arrangement. Got a nice little uh, cheese platter with some limes. Got my circle tone. Got an ocularum upstairs. Now that the undead trouble has been dealt with at the Western Ramparts, we can go all the way over there. Let's go up to this uh, ocularum. Vivian slightly approves. You guys, getting that approval meter up with uh, Vivian. So important. Look at that. Getting so good at climbing up steep 
things. I'm just stumbling upon these mosaic pieces and sausages. Now uh, that is not what I expected though. I'm trying to get a path to this thing. Nothing is ever as, as simple as you think. Dragon Age. Ugh. Give me the power of flight or something, you know? Oh, hello, Cass. Give me wings. My companions can teleport. Why can't I? Here we go. This might be the way to go. There we go. Done nice and uh, nice and properly. Jumping on around. Nice little view of the place. One in a tower. And I hate how this controls. There you go. Shards on the plains. 16 of them. Oh, if only this was Skyhold. I'd be jumping off right now. All right, we're going to go to this camp and then we'll move on this way. Cassandra and Dorian are with us to do their little things. Bottle of Thetis, Alvarado's bathtub boot screech. If you can read this, you haven't drunk it. <laughs> what is that? Is a name? Hmm. That's Dragon Age bathwater right there. Okay. Dorian got out of my way. Oh, okay. I was hoping to ascend the tower. Turns out I can't. Um, how do we get to the crystal? Is there? There's an ocularum nearby. More crystals, uh, shards to unearth. This letter found in the pocket of a dead soldier is nothing more than a heart drawn on paper then rolled up and secured with a gold ring. Oh. Sad. Just a lot of sad stories out in the exalted plains. Last words. There's so many last words, the exalted plans. A well-worn piece of paper, clearly folded and unfolded numerous times. Things I will do in my return. Have roast boar and wine at the Black Swan. Visit Arnaud at the Gilded Lily. Play Wicked Grace. Swim in Lake Celestine like I used to as a child. Sometimes focusing on this list is the only thing giving me hope. And then he was crushed so by a cartwheel. Screaming. It took a long time to die. Even the detail of like the animal carcass like left behind as well with the bones is a very neat touch. Hello, we get some ruins over here. Oh, really? Oh. Unlock operation. Oh, that's cool. We could send men to clear this out if you want. Huh. I really like that. That's neat. You can come across like blocked paths in the wild and an operation to open it up. That's cool. I mean, I wish I could just have like magic powers or something. I wish that like uh, there was like mages with the ability to like, I don't know, lift rocks or something. And then maybe I could just get in there myself. But, you know, we make do, don't we? Spirit's just chilling. That's fine. These dudes don't care. These <laughs> demons will be the death of us. Yeah, they're like, wow, look at this pathway blocked by rocks. As me as a mage will use magic to uh, maybe gain access. I do like that. Ah, uh, there is the ability to, you know, do an operation to still get in there. Better than not being able to get in there at all. Deft hands find tools, baby. I still need to go to those older ones and check them out. Yep. We have chosen one tower. Oh, it's uh, for some reason really slow walking up the stairs. You got this. I believe in you. This is fancy. Superb belt of staggering. Nice. 
That was fun. Let's go do the other one. I don't know why they make you walk up so slowly in the tower. Yes. Sigil of Death Root, nice. Lovely. Okay. Why am I okay? Or almost at this camp. Just keep getting sidetracked because there's just things to do constantly. I know how to make a beautiful looking set piece. Dorian, we're killing your Venatory! One down! I must admit, Cassandra, I've never heard of these seekers of truth. Why would you? They do not exist in Tevinter. But what are they? Some manner of super Templar? Is this one of those sudden secrets like proper hygiene? Huh? Once we worked from the shadows, monitoring Templars and mages alike. Ah, that clearly worked out well. Your glibness does you no credit. The mage rebellion was beyond even our power to control. Hmm. Hygiene? What's that? We should establish this camp in the region before we head out too far. Just need to circumvent the five million giant rocks in the way. We've tried to get to this camp, but the game is just um, walling it away. It's just really just like, sorry, you cannot access this the camp at this time. Um, fuck you. It just really doesn't want me to get in there. I think I have to go through this, uh, this fort instead, just to get out. And naturally, we got more arcane horrors to deal with. Who is this? Consider yourselves assisted. Okay. Oh, hello. Mm, we shall see. Speak with Marshal Pro. I read a I read a note with your name on it. Took off last night. Said she was joining the Freemen. Okay, we got a full area out this way with a landmark. A victory at last. More things to do. A victory at last. That was a brilliant show, Inquisitor. My men had barely been keeping the horde at bay. Bastien Pru, Marshal of the Grand Duke's forces here in the Dales. Why have you barricaded yourselves in here? We had to retreat from the Western Front. The demons and undead were too much. But it's no better here. My patrols don't return. Messages are lost. I've had no word from the capital in weeks. If we could, 
regain our outposts, the ramparts, or even the garrison by the river. We can't just keep hiding. I want to die like a soldier, not cowering under a bed, praying the monsters don't get me. <laughs> I've cleared out the dead from the western ramparts. You did? Make us breath. There's hope for us, if the ramparts have been reclaimed. I'd alert our forces stationed outside the Dales, but the chaos makes it difficult for missives to get through. Demons. Those blasted freemen, or whatever they call themselves. I've heard something of the freemen of the Dales. What do you know about them? They're a mob of traitors. Too soft for war. Thought it was a skirmish or two them back for supper. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't. And off they run to the first person to tell them their tantrums are acceptable. Now they want uh, independence. To establish a new settlement. Uh, ridiculous. I shall take my leave. Good day. Set fire to the East Pit. Okay, calming victory rise. Now fast travel here at least, so I guess I don't need that camp as much. Yes, thank you. Tired of waiting. Tired of waiting. Tired of waiting. Uh, tired of waiting around. <laughs> Fort Reverson. Did you know that Revis is the elven word for freedom? Revisan is the place where freedom dwells. One wonders why it wasn't given a more appropriate name after the reclamation of the Dales. Perhaps the adage remains true. Once one gets used to a name, it's hard to change. The walls in this place are ancient. I hope it holds. Ah, okay, so hang on. So... Ravis is the elven word for freedom, and Ravisan is the place where freedom dwells. So at the in the Forbidden Oasis, that temple is called Solasan, and then and that means prideful. So Solas actually, I think, mean must mean pride. And I think there was another word in there that I related it to instead, because it talks about something else. So it was like an opposite. But I actually think that might mean Solasan is prideful. Solas is pride. So I think that's what his name means. There you go. Tired of waiting, uh, tired of waiting around. God, that's already become a meme in my head. Jesus. Couldn't give him anything else to say? Oh, yes. Hard in Hightown Chapter 8. We skipped a few chapters. Oh, my God. Donan Branokovic left his partner Jevelin in the barracks. The recruit was even more jittery after their run-in with Captain Belladonna, and although Donan himself was starting to feel his limbs weighed down and aching after such a long shift, he finally had the scent of something in this case. He wouldn't let it get away. The city of Kirkwall has a legacy of collectors. It was built in ancient times by Tevinters who collected suffering as if it were rare coins, and they passed on their obsession with obsession to future generations. On any street from Darktown to the Viscount's Keep, you can find someone who always buy tapestries or has known every spoon made in the Vara, or someone who hoards odd bits and scraps of historical knowledge like it's their grandmother's crockery. Which was how he found himself knocking on a brightly painted door in the alienage. Oh, guardsman, what a nice surprise. Nobody been, nobody's been mugged, have they? The elf beamed up at him. She had green eyes so wide they barely fit her face, and she seemed to be made of nothing but elbows and knees. No muggings today, Maisie. Donnan had to duck his head slightly to get through the door. It was something you might be interested in. He handed her the letter the magistrate's wife had given him the night before. Well, this doesn't look very interesting at all, Maisie frowned, disappointed. What you have claimed belongs to greater powers. You will answer to us. That's a lot of rubbish. Not at that. Look at the back. She flipped the letter over and, and cooed as if she'd found a lost puppy. Ooh, just look at you. You're just perfect. Maisie. Donnan spoke in a loud, firm voice, trying to remind her he was still in a, the room. Whose seal is that? Oh, it's the executors, of course. Maisie peered excitedly at the wax seal, holding it up to the window for better light. I should have guessed it was from the silly great powers nonsense. There's only been one example on the letter claiming responsibility for the assassination of Queen Madrigal in the 99th year of the... Exalted Age. What's the fifth age? Damn it. <laughs> Whenever it says like 599, I'm like, what age was the fifth one? The Black Age? The Exalted Age? And this one is so much better. Just look at that yeah, imprint. 
Any idea how I'd contact these executives, Don and asked? Oh, they're not real, of course. Everyone knows that. I kind of wish the game would force the Hard and High Town notes to be in order of like their chapters. Right now, we're reading it like a Tarantino movie. It's all over the place. I hate waiting to die. This dude's attacking fucking no one. This is a. D oh my god. <laughs> the whole like little arrangements of like people training is always so funny because they're in just like such small uh groups i say we take our chances against the demons oh, i hate waiting around Stay mode. sergeant Messol. have you seen any of our fallen men out there have many of you fallen? What you see is all that's left. We were a thousand strong once. The worst part is not knowing what happened to the men who don't come back. Deserters? Or dead? If they're dead, we've nothing to tell their families. Nothing to send home. I found like a million lost wills and testament, to be honest. Good luck to you. Oh, yeah. Four out of seven. They are connected. Good day. Good day to you. <laughs> Too many people hurting, harming, hacking open a hole for the demons to pour in. Paul does love to give his observations, doesn't he? The words of this. The instincts of the dead. Someone's sleeping under you. Where's that body pit that they want us to check out? Over there. Oh, it's added all of the the letters, at least, onto the thing. Oh my god. It's like, one of the interesting parts about this game, um, uh, and how it really turns locations into, into daunting ones um, very quickly, is you enter an area and you're like, oh, cool. Uh, there's not much that we have to do and then the more you explore the more you explore an area the more you're like oh my god <laughs> there's just so much more that gets added to my to-do list constantly you know it's like oh there's not much going on enters a thing and then you get like six more side quests legend of the three sisters book two Typically, the three sisters react in a similar manner upon entering the Bell Marsh. Charisse is the adventurous one, intrigued by all the sights and sounds of the market and the most heedless of any dangers. Marie is the brash one and most suspicious of everything she sees and the one who makes withering sarcastic comments, even if she allows her sisters to drag her along. Brielle, meanwhile, is always the innocent one. She is depicted as wide-eyed and startled, like a doe lost in the wilderness. Yet by the head of the ta end of the tale, she is also the one who bursts out of her shell the most. A common initial stop for the girls, for instance, is the White Rose. It's an infamous establishment in the Belmarsh, serving tea and cakes to noble patrons by day and at night, transforming into a house of ill repute filled with male and female prostitutes in elegant dress. The girls go there because the building is fashionable, some place they can escape from the market's crowds. Inside, Marie is the first to realize that the friendly gentlemen are not what they seem. Brielle is scandalized, but it's Charisse who runs off to dance with these men despite her sister's protests. This leads to a chase through the White Rose. Marie and Brielle stumble into room after room where they are confronted with various patrons. Empress Celine herself is frequently mentioned. Marie scathingly berates these pa patrons, while Brielle is intrigued despite herself and eventually drawn off when Marie isn't looking. Marie throws her hands up in disgust and joins a dwarf in smoking an illicit substance from a wild contraption. It's at this point in the, in the tale where the girl's desperate chaperone, Labette, appears in the White Rose and things get truly interesting. Details vary, but by the end of this part of the tale, the White Rose is in flames, Labette has pummeled her way through a legion of clueless patrons, and the three sisters are led out the back door by a charming elf, completely unaware anything is amiss behind them. My knowledge, however, the White Rose has never burned to the ground in its entire existence and maintains a legion of guards that makes such antics implausible. Even so, the tale is stubbornly believed to be true even in Valroyo itself. I don't... 
Well, did I so we, we've got book one and book two read of that story so far. At least that one's been found in order. Um, how can I get out to that camp? Monsieur. I just jump off here. Nope. Just in case you were wondering if you can jump off there, you can't. <sighs> the game's uh, unfortunately destroying me on, you see that over there? You can go there mentality right now with this uh, one encampment. I mean, you see that over there? Fuck you. Been at this post over a day. Maybe you have to go all the way around here to get to it, which is just awful. The demons are coming from down there. A reefed. A reefed. A reefed. A victory at last! Alright, we got a horn to sound when all's said and done, I suppose. Riverside Garrison. This ancient structure has stood since the time of the Elven Kingdom of the Dales. Since then, it has fallen into ruin. No one alive knows what the elves... for what the elves used it. Grand Duke Gaspard's forces claimed it was an outpost early in the Elysian Civil War. Alright, let's go shut down this rift, shall we? Lovely. One down. Disrupted. Got myself a bottle of Thetis finale by Massad as well. The last bottling from the legendary Vinters of Freldon before lands were divided. Tears on the glass as slow as the turning of a reluctant air, as quick on the tongue as words that can't be unsaid. Interesting description. Goodbye. There's a lot of uh, a lot of arcane horrors in um, the Exalted Plains. Oh, I accidentally um, used the wrong spell on myself. That's funny. Dead. We now knew why new word was heard since. Huh. Wow, Inception Horn. Okay, lovely. You're welcome, everybody. If you are to fight alongside us, Cole, I expect you to follow orders. The Inquisitor believes you wish to help. But I will not allow you to threaten innocence. Yes. Help the hurt, save the small. If I become a demon, cut me down. Do not doubt me. I will do it. Good. You're serious, aren't you? Yes. I hope you are too. Yeah, do it. If I become a demon, cut me down. Far Slayer. 
New bow. Okay, let's take a look. The thrum of this bow's string is like a whisper in the mind, an elven or an even older tongue. Its power has lasted the millennia, but it has faded far from the marvel it once was. Far slow. With cheese, nonetheless. I'm assuming how to get through to Cassandra's mission and that third camp must be tied to being able to clear that rubble. Uh, so we'll have to check that operation. Gain access to Galanane's Grove. Chief Engineer Bernadine's report to Commander Cullen. Elven ruins, ancient, largely structurally unsound, mortar damp and crumbling, recent damage to load-bearing walls, claw marks, tasks, clear loose rubble and reinforce collapse, passageway for safety, 10 strong workers, 2 junior engineers, 2 guards for security, 3 wagon loads of squared oak beam, 170 kegs of ground ale and a partridge in a pear tree. Clear it. Passageway is clear and safe. Access to the groove restored. 170 kegs of ale, not nearly enough for 15 hardworking Inquisition men and women. Okay, new area unlocked in the Exalted Plains. Wonderful. That was easy. Inquisitor, the Grey Wardens scoured the area as requested. Unfortunately, this left them unprepared when mercenaries working for Marquise Efloche Buffon attacked by surprise. It appears that Marquise had been mining the area in violation of local treaties, which accidentally freed the Darkspawn from beneath the earth. Marquise has fled into the Gamordan Peaks. The Grey Warden have taken losses, but their morale remains high and their loyalty to the, to the Inquisition is undisputed. Him. We should have scouted, and then we would have avoided Grey Warden losses. It's a shame. Oh, well, we can pursue the Marquis, though. The Ancient Laboratory, Ambassador, please convey my thanks to the Inquisition for their assistance. The Chantry expedition into the Laboratory was a complete success. However, to say we were appalled by most of our findings would be an understatement. We shall send you the full documentation of our discoveries when it is complete. In the meantime, we uncovered a few artifacts of note that may still be serviceable. Magister Ice Staff. Lovely. And then... Oh yes, we can investigate the Elven Glyphs. Discovered in the Dales might prove valuable. Cursory inspection suggests they predate the ruins in which they were found, possibly transferred onto the stone from a much older edifice that dates back to the original Elven Nation or even earlier. One of our mages, a Dalish elf named Killian, believes he may be able to translate the glyphs, provided we grant him the needed contacts. Done. And make it so. New area unlocked. It required some gifts to several Dalish clans traveling along the Waking Sea coast, but Killian was able to get the texts he needed to translate the glyphs. He claims they are a kind of map showing the location to an ancient temple dedicated to Dirthamon, the elven god of secrets. He has provided us the location, but it should be noted we're not the first to investigate these glyphs. A group of treasure hunters evidently mentioned them several years ago, though they have not been heard from since. Cool. Alright, I like that. Uh, over in Ferelden we have investigating Lord Enzo. Sister Liliana, our agents entered Lord Enzo's home where they discovered several pieces of correspondence connecting Enzo to the Venatori. Worse, it seems Enzo did more than buy into their philosophy. He's been arranging to send volunteers to Red Lyrium Mines. As they took these people from Rialto's poorer, more unfortunate residents, few noticed the disappearances. Our agents um, uh, were prepared to confront Enzo with the evidence, but he failed to return. We have since learned that he hired a ship to Hercinia in the Free Marches, but it seems unlikely that Enzo knew of our presence but something spooked him. Mason. Leliana has written a note below. Have our agents track Lord Enzo to the Free Marches. His work for the Venatory must not continue. Let us pray the trail does not run cold. An offer from the Crows. A letter delivered to Skyhold. Its sender claims to be a member of the Antivan Crows, an infamous guild of assassins. We encountered your agents in Hercinia. It seems the Inquisition and the Crows share a target. Our employer bears no love for Lord Enzo due to, well, let's just say it's a personal matter, of course. I imagine your motivations have more to do with the man's Tevinter friends. You know the Venatori, we know Enzo. Why comp compete for the man? Lend us your knowledge and the job will be done far more quickly. You eliminate an enemy, our employer removes a political rival, and we get paid. A happy ending for all involved. Gita. 
Cooperating with the crows works to our advantage. They have more knowledge of Enzo and we gain contacts should we need their assistance in the future. The crows are an unfortunate reality of Antivan politics. They will pursue the contract regardless. We may as well know where they are. And Cullen, do we really want to get tangled up with the crows? Our people can handle this. I'll go with Liliana. Let's see what we have. It's a 10 minute mission. All right, judgment. The death of Sir, good Sir Ruth. The disgraced Grey Warden Sir Ruth wishes to make good on your judgment, Inquisitor. She has asked for assistance in reaching one of the deeper recesses of the deep roads so that her premature calling might serve a greater good. Laudable, but any expedition to the deep roads comes with considerable risk. An escort is simple, could arrange to note her exact path should you wish to recover her body for any perceived honors. Many of our soldiers lost family to the blight. Of no doubt many would volunteer to escort the warden. My concern is that they would not stop at escorting. And I suggest an invitation over an escort. Our dwarven contacts would welcome the chance to bolster their forces with a warden on her calling. So Josephine. Let us begin. Let us begin. Um, deploying Reese and Evangeline. Inquisitor, we have recovered from our wounds and are ready to serve the Inquisition as you see fit. Evangeline has friends among the Orlesian nobility who may listen to our cause, and I am familiar with several caches used by the rebel mages. Or, if you prefer, we would be honored to join the Inquisition troops near Val Famin and fight the forces of Corypheus as best we can. Uh, the caches Reese speaks of might yield something of value. Passionate warrior might bring the Inquisition a great deal of gold, and experienced Templar and a powerful mage would greatly increase our military strength near Val for Min. Okay, so we've got choices here. They're like... Hmm, I want to keep them away from trouble. I don't know. I'm just thinking of Cole, you know? I might have Liliana handle that one just for the caches one. I don't know. Try and keep them um, available. Hard in Hightown. Trouble in Skyhold. Copies of Hard in Hightown and Hard in Hightown 3, the repunctioning. Oh yeah, this was the one where I want to send Liliana on this mission because Cullen doesn't care about it. So I'm not going to send him on that. Diverting soldiers in the Frostbacks. My name is Sister Paulette. My sisters and I have been accompanying a handful of injured Inquisition soldiers through the Frostbacks as they are no longer able to fight for the Inquisition. They wish to return to their families in Ferelden. These are strange times and many seek the solace or forgiveness of loved ones. Unfortunately, that peace may never come. A band of Avar refusing to see reason have pinned us down. We have taken refuge in a cave and are holding them off as best we can, but I do not know how long we can last. I understand this bird is trained and returned to Skyhold. I pray it is so. We need aid. A note in Cullen's hand follows. Soldiers dispatched from Skyhold itself will not reach them in time. We should have men near their location. We sent a party to pursue a group of Red Templars we suspect of moving captured civilians to one of their Red Lyrium mines. No one wants to make this call, but if the Red Templars do escape, more people will be harmed. Our soldiers would understand. These soldiers are still our allies. They've done their part. We cannot abandon them. I think I'll have Josephine do that because it seems Cullen's gonna... Cullen's saying that we've sent a party to pursue Red Templars around the place and Cullen's saying if the Red Tem Templars escape, more people will be harmed. So that's kind of interesting. So it seems that the choice is between having... The group that are pursuing Red Templars go to get these injured Inquisition soldiers. And Josephine's saying we should get them. A swift bird might reach the party, allowing them to go to the sister's aid. However, we would likely lose the Templars trail. We've got a lot of Templars operations happening anyway that we can shut down. So I might save that one for Josephine. It's hard when you want to send one of your people on a mission, but then you're just like, they don't feel right for it. You know <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it, it feels like I need to send you on something else. Um, maybe they 
and claim the Grey Warden cachet. Per information gleaned from the wreckage of Adamant Fortress, the Inquisition has learned of a cachet of Grey Warden supplies hidden not far away. They place such as supplies to aid those fighting large numbers of Darkspawn without reinforcement. The Inquisition could make good use of them. All right, you go do that. Inquisitor. Go get that cachet, my boy. Perfect. So we now have unlocked a new area or two around the Exalted Plains, I believe, with those operations. We will investigate Galanane's Grove um, and check out these scattered glyphs next time. So thank you so much for joining me today. We've got more to investigate around the Exalted Plains next time, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm really enjoying the Exalted Plains because of the lore, and there's a lot to discover around there. So we'll check out more then. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.